Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries with some new vintage bag haul unbagging. I think I have my camera in the right position, so very happy about that. Hopefully. Yes. This is huge. That's the biggest rhinestone I've ever seen, I think. I guess it's a little bit missed. The foil in the back is a little bit messed up. Probably could take this out and repaint it with some gold paint. If you wanted to. It's pretty impressive size right there. Everything seems big in these bags. It's like over the top big. I'm not complaining. Big earring. That's cool. Big door knocker. Here's the other one. I'm surprised that they aren't branded with anything, but Very cool. And big. <laughs> this is huge. Whoa. It's one of those, like, collar, I would say. With a big plastic flower. But it is broken. That one last strand. You probably still get away with wearing it if you tie that off. That's heavy. I don't know who would wear that, but it's different. Here's an old circle pin. This is cool. How would you wear it? Oh, it's a little bent. Sorry. So I guess you would wear it like that. Does have a name. Don Lynn. I've seen that before. They make interesting things. I've seen some pretty cool stuff from them. I think I have earrings from them. But they're just plain um, silver tone. I don't remember. This looks like it has blue and green. A fish with... Um, a seahorse. Hmm. Very artsy looking. This is very worn. Another big pair of earrings. These are cool. Diplaws. Diplaws. Getting a lot of that. That's cool, though. They make some decent stuff. These might be just a little dirty, a little tarnished. Impressive. They make a statement. Crystal. This is nice. Kind of um, like a Brighton style. Is there a name in there? No. It's amazing how I thought all these little bumps was a name. Oh, here's a tag. NW or could be MN. I'm thinking NW. Not sure what that maker is, but it's a nice style. I don't know how comfortable comfortable it would be, but probably looks really pretty on. And here is a lot of faceted plastic black beads. No clasp. Alright. I love this bracelet. It's actually a watch. 
I don't know why, but I love that old vintage. Well, I love vintage, but that the roses on the pink. So pretty. This reflection. Um, Betsy Johnson. Hmm. That's cute. It still has the plastic on the back. Oh, okay. I really think that's cute. Whole thing is plastic in here, but it's adorable. Whoa. Hey, Carol, the applause. I didn't know that that was the first name. This is Hess's again. They are cheap because I think these are old. That's not cheap. Heavy duty. I've never had the plastic to it, the little display. That's why I didn't know there was a, a Carol display. The plaz. Well, these are newer. Oh, these feel so nice. Ooh. Sugar Fix by Bobble Bar. These feel nice. I wish my hair felt like that. This is pretty. How would you put this on your wrist? This is like tiny, tiny. But pretty. Don't see anything? It's scratch or something. Is it silver? No. Oh, S for small. I would say that's true. I, yep, yeah, that's um the swan for Swarovski. Oh, these go for a pretty penny. That's cool. Kind of a brutalist crescent moon. I have two of these. One has different color plastic and there's one with clear. Same shape, but just a chain. None of these extras here. None of these coins or anything, but this one's cool. The pink with it? I don't know, but... Reminds me of butterscotch. I love butterscotch. But they're very lightweight plastic. They're not... Definitely not um, Bakelite or anything. Cool. A watch from Eclipse. This looks newer. Missing one stone, but ooh, this is pretty. Very blingy in a rose gold color. Nicely made. Just missing that one stone wouldn't be hard to fix. This is... Charter Club. That's a big leaf. Big gold dipped leaf. Oh, something's missing. Their little pearl on the thing. This is a very heavy faux turquoise necklace. A big Discs. Could be the dyed howlite, could be just, I don't know. No name. But that's big. If you like the look of the turquoise, that's for you. This is pretty. I don't know if that's... Yeah, it's just some gunk. Now I have it on my nail. <clears throat> Very lightweight plastic. 
some little rhinestones of different hues of purple. It's very tall. But cool. This is just silver tone bracelet. No name. Not a bad chain. Little cherub angel type thing. I don't see any name on it. Two earrings together. Reminds me of the 80s. 90s, maybe. They're cute. I don't mind those. Everything's going to come back, too. These are just white plastic. Here's the other one. A little bit of a molded plastic. Mm, American Legion. another one of these I think in another flower this might have come in all different kinds of um, flowers because I think I have a different flower yes it's Avon I have one that's a different flower I don't remember what flower it is it might be lily or something but I forgot the name of this flower but they're cute I know they make a bunch of different ones. I don't know if that's like the birth flower or what that is. Here's a cuff with some... It looks like plastic. I don't even think it's glass. Some frosted plastic. Not bad looking except for it's broken. A strawberry hair clip. Cute. A hoop or half hoop earring. A very worn little ring. Little as in doesn't fit me. <laughs> this is from 9-11. The World Trade Center. Yep. <sighs> this is nice. Almost like a dogwood. It's I was going to say Trafari, but now I have to, is that Torino? I could swear I was just going to say Trafari. Let me look with my thingy here. Yeah, Torino. I've never heard of that before. Sorry, I'm a little distracted. I feel like I had a cricket on my foot or near my foot. Crickets are going crazy. It's pretty. I'll have to look up that name. That's new for me. Celebrate Freedom. Oh, from the Red Hat Society. I don't know if that's an earring. Well, it's an earring. Because here's the other one. What is this? Another huge pin. Wow. Holy mackerel. That's big. That is big. I wish it had a name on it so I can kind of gauge when it's from, but I'm going to say 80s. I'm going to have to say 80s. A little half hoop. A little three ring pierced earring. I like these. I bet they look pretty on. What is that? What is this? Oh, there's a necklace to match. Let, let me see if I have an earring. Yes. 
they probably look pretty on. Like I said, I'm gonna perhaps try them. And here's the matching necklace. I am not finding. It has to have a clasp on it. Come on. That's a good hidden clasp. And you wouldn't be able to fit this over your head. Here it is. It doesn't have a name on it. Pretty classic, right? This is also very pretty. See, I think, I don't think this is worn. I think it's like the reflection of my, my phone. Very nice. Monet. Very pretty. I like that chain. I'd like to have a necklace like that too. I bet Monet does make a necklace to match it. So maybe I'll find it. This is tangled. A flower. It's a little bent. It's missing its pin. That's a shame because it's got pretty shape to it. Oh, I have, I think, two other one of these. Is this Sarah Coventry? No, it's Avon. Okay. Well, I do have two of these somewhere with the chain. Some faux pearls. Very lightweight. Let's see if it's Japan. Yep. Oh, they're broken. I guess it was a double strand, but not anymore. Another one of these. And another one of these earrings. Those. Kind of a artistic swirl. Hmm. Kelly Waters. Not familiar with that name. I might have seen it one other time, but it's not hitting me right now. But is it bent or is it me? It's very abstract. Cool. A purple ribbon. These are not marked. And they have what looks like little rhinestones. I'm not seeing the other one initially. Put that to the side. Some more of those earrings. That's a pretty watch. Peugeot or Pagat. I don't know how to say it. But I do know that name and I don't think that that's... This is mm, one of the real ones. If I... If they were, it would be lots and lots of money. It's a pretty watch anyway. This is very pretty. I have a few of these damascene type. They're kind of in the same realm. Usually marked Spain, but I'm not seeing it on this one. Pretty old. Very, very pretty. I like that. Some white plastic beads. Oh, very dirty. <laughs> oh, here's another one of those earrings. They're not bad looking. Little circle. You can put a chain through. Bracelet. 
It's got, definitely has a lot of wear on it. Oh, I think I have one of these. Is it Avon? Let me see. Yeah, I think I have this one. Mm hmm It's adorable. It's very dainty. And it just has the two dangling diamond shapes. Probably looks really pretty on. I like it. I like that style. Oh. It's like a S chain or eternity symbol type. Very cool. Very lightweight and shiny. I like it. This would probably look nice too. You can double it or leave it long. This is two things. Oh, this is from the pearls. I don't know if this is multiple chains. Yes, looks like it. Chico's. I never find Chico's. Well, I don't find many Chico's. I love the chain. Very nice. Very long. Assuming it needs a battery. Nice long dangle. I think that's Mother of Pearl. Or just made to look like it, but it probably is. Chico's makes um, pretty decent stuff. Um, might have time for another bag. No, this one looks interesting. Some good stuff. Ooh. I have something like this with flowers. Oh, it's got some wear. That's, I think it says Audubon. I forgot the name of the anchor though. Reed and Barton Damascene. Mm hmm. Yep. I have one with flowers on it. It's very pretty. Unfortunately, it's got a lot of wear right here. Still pretty. A purple, weird, reminds me of those little bubblegum rocks. This is pretty. It's got like the diamond cuts on the side, white enamel. Sorry if I'm blinding you. Monet. Got quite a few of those. Stretchy stretched out bracelet. You can turn it inside out. No name. Mickey wa watch. Mickey watch. <laughs> From Loris. Don't know why it's all blurry. Could be dirty. Distinct possibility. Ooh. This is a stretchy bracelet with some antiqued metal items, keys, and hearts. Cute. Let's see. It's water resistant. Just a plain type watch. Yeah. Maybe someone handmade this. Never seen anything like that. Kind of like a leopard egg or something. Not sure. 
for one of these fans. I'm not sure if it's supposed to come apart. Probably. I don't know if it was an earring or... Oh, something was attached to here too. Hmm. Oh, coins. A bar pin with some dangly coins. Republic uh, Frenches. <laughs> I'm guessing a Republic of France. Cool pin. Very kind of, I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to look. It says John. A little bit stretched out. I don't know if that's the way it's supposed to look or not. This is pretty. Is this a magnet? Yes. But it's missing the other side. Well loved. Those are pretty though. I love this color. Blue with gold. Very pretty. No name. Oh, it's too bad that these are green or the paint came off of them and that's the color underneath. I guess you could jazz it up with a paint pen or restring them. They're plastic, but I like that gold and blue combination. Oh, blessed. Oh, this goes on the sweater, right? These go on the little buttons. Little broken plastic bead. This is a stretchy ring in hot red. Another tie clip. Patent pending with a little pearl. That's cool. I like the construction. This looks like a, a real coin. Um, new pence, 50, 50 pence. 1980, Elizabeth. Not sure where that's from. Somewhere in Europe, I'm guessing. These, I can't tell if these are, I think these are glass. Pretty green color. Weird. But I like these beads. I would like it better if it didn't have these in there. I think it would just be really a nice kind of green chalcedony necklace. Some white discs. I have something similar, but they're little squares. I guess this was the style. They're very dirty. Oh my goodness, dirty. But they're cute. I'm sure they'd look good in the summer, right? That is almost 30 minutes. And I think I'm going to wrap it up. But I would want to show you the purse I got. I don't know if I could get it under the camera. Probably not. It's already messed up. This is the bag I got. It's, it looks like that. And it has an old watch in it. Um, I forgot the name of it. Uh, it's a Geneva. Really old. Really cool leather. Um, that's the inside. 
lined in genuine leather made in the USA. And I love it. It was at the antique shop forever, just hanging on the edge of a workbench. Um, and I just always looked at it and said, wow, that's neat. Never bothered to ask how much it was or so I paid 20 for it and I thought that was fair and I love it. It's just so unique and I don't know. I think if I saw somebody carrying this, I would just be like, oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm a over the shoulder, not over the shoulder, what they call it, like, um, hands free, you know, um, the crossbody type bag holder. Cause I like my hands to be free, especially when I'm thrifting. Um, but I think on a certain occasion, I just might tote this around. Because I love it. It's in good shape. Look at the bottom. But on that note, I will let you guys go. And thanks for joining me. And I will see you soon. We've got plenty more. So hopefully I can keep making those videos. And... I'm looking forward to it because I love going through the bags. I could do this for hours, but could you watch it for hours? <laughs> That's the question. But have a great night, and I'll talk to you soon. Thanks. Bye.